Want to change the game on your Nintendo Switch? Have I got the perfect product for you. Coming up. Hey Tubers, it's Ben the Curious Consumer. So you've got a Nintendo Switch. It's been a great console. Smash Brothers just came out. But wouldn't you like to add a little flair to your system? Maybe make it stand out amongst the rest? Or maybe you want to be like Extreme Rate and play differently. This kit by Extreme Rate allows you to reshell your entire Nintendo Switch. Now I've been meaning to change or reshell my Nintendo Switch controllers for a while now. They're a little worn down. They're starting to lose a little bit of the color here. But I bought these controllers used and I wanted to change the outsides to be something a little bit different. And this kit's gonna allow me to do that. So let's take a look inside the kit to see what comes with it. So before we get into what's in the box, let's talk about what a reshell kit is. So a reshell kit is going to change the overall look of your Nintendo Switch console. In this case, it'll change my controllers completely. So the outsides, instead of being pink or gray, it'll be a different color altogether. It'll replace the whole front, the whole back piece, and of course there's this little piece on the inside here uh, that will also be replaced. So these controllers will actually look completely different. It will also change the backing here. So replacing this entire backing here, this will come off, we'll put on a new piece here, and including the, um, the, the kickstand here, this will be a different color as well. With that being said, now let's see what's inside the box. So the kit comes inside of this box, it's got a little window here, and I think you can already see what my kit looks like. I chose this kit because I'm kind of nostalgic, I like the old school looks of things, but here is, the kit itself. You can see my backing here is going to look like an original Nintendo. Uh, it does come with its own kickstand. It also comes with its own tools. So it gives you your tools, your tri-wing screws, as well as uh, another screwdriver in there. And on this tray here, you also get your Joy-Cons. So the Joy-Cons are going to look a little bit different as well. Uh, it gives you the front plate, the mid plate, which is the part that separates the triggers, the, the top two triggers, and of course your back plate for those controllers. So this is kind of an interesting process. I have not yet taken apart my uh, Nintendo Switch to do these things before, but I'm really looking forward to doing this right now. Uh, it also gives you the triggers for your kit here as well. So it does give you your triggers, it gives you your buttons, it also gives you screws, and if you look here, the grills for the backing of your Nintendo Switch backplate. So before attempting a modification like this, just know that it is at your own risk. Uh, it just will void your warranty. A really great resource for this kind of a project is a website called iFixit. I frequent that website quite a bit. It has shown me a lot of different ways to do different things, and it actually helps you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to take these uh, controllers apart. So if you get stuck, check out some, there's great resources online, other YouTube videos on how to take things, these things apart. Check out ifixit.com. They actually do a really great job showing you how to do this. Okay, so lastly, what we're going to do, uh, I've already put the controllers together, reshelled those. You gotta be extremely careful. There's a lot of breakable parts in those controllers. There's a lot of ribbon cables that you have to be very careful not to tear. So we're going to be replacing the back panel now on this Nintendo Switch. This whole back cover here is gonna come off and we're gonna replace it with the new back plate. This is the simplest part of the modification process. So in order to get the back panel off, we have to start by removing the screws. So we have four screws here on the back and one hidden screw underneath the kickstand. Also, there's one screw on the top, two screws on the bottom, and then the screw in the middle here on both rail sides. So the screws on the outside four are the tri-wing screws. This one here it looks like the two on the bottom, the one on the top, and the rail screws on the side are all Phillips head screws. So if you have a Phillips head screwdriver, that would be really easy 
to do. So let's get started. We'll take off the tri-wing screws first. Now that I've got my tri-wing screws all out, I'm going to hit up the Phillips head screws. Okay, so I used a different screwdriver. I ended up getting that bottom screw out and this popped right off. So now what I want to do is transfer over this kickstand that comes on the bottom and I want to transfer over the game cover here to the new backing. So it looks like on this one here, there's a whole kit that has to come off. So we have to unscrew this portion, pull that off, put it back on here and then screw it back into place. And on this portion here, it looks like we have to screw, unscrew that top portion, pull that off, put it up here, screw it into place, and then this will be all done. So let's get these parts off first, and then we will replace them on the other side. All right, so we got the game case cover in. Now let's move on to the bottom. It looks like we just have to remove two outside screws and move the whole assembly over. All right, so the kickstand is back into place here. I, I kinda, I think I'm gonna keep keep the black kickstand. I, I kinda like it better than the than the, the gray, but you have that option of replacing the gray kickstand like that. I kinda like it black though. I think, I think that's a cool contrast. So I'm gonna keep that the same. Now, what we wanna do is put vents on each side here. The vents came inside the package. These are the vents that keep the dust out. So we're going to put these vents right in here and we're going to then put the back cover back on. And nobody's really seeing the inside of this anyway after you get it on, but you now you have those really nice vents there. You don't really see them really good in the camera here, but there are vents in there as you can see. All right, so let's put this back on. We just have to replace the cover. All we're going to do is set it on to our Nintendo Switch. Just want to make sure that any extra dust in there I'm going to take out. And I'm just going to set it on top. Line it up, line the parts up, the holes up, click it all into place. And now I can start replacing the screws. I'm going to start with the side screws. Also remember, all the screws on the outside portion of your switch, this top screw here, the bottom two screws here, those are all going to be that Phillips head screw, not the tri-wing screws. The tri-wing screws go on the outsides here. Lastly, we want to make sure we don't forget the secret screw on the bottom. That secret screw is a very, very small or flat screw it's it's not very not very long there I don't know if you can see that it's not very long so it's it shouldn't uh, take too much torque to get that in there but you want to be very careful not to over tighten great now we can go around the outside and put in the tri-wing screws and that is it I'm gonna put my card back in my memory card make sure that it fits perfect here we go let's put on our switch controllers and there you go there you have it Nintendo switch reshelled controllers let's just rub the screen off here make it look nice and shiny again got a screen protector in there always make sure you have a screen protector and there you are a nice reshelled Nintendo switch and I used the kit by Extreme Rate, the classic Nintendo kit. I didn't change the back kickstand. This kickstand plate would normally be um, gray in this situation for the backing, so it make it look like that. But I do like the contrast of the black and the gray. That's why I kept the black there. Everything feels really cool. That was my very first reshell. I have never reshelled a Nintendo Switch before, but to be completely honest with you, it wasn't all that bad. Use some of the guides. They do have some guides online so you can see how to do that. Check out iFixit. They do have great tutorials on how to take these things apart and put them back together again. They also tell you how hard it can be. The controllers were rated as a moderate repair and of course the backing here was rated as an easy repair. But that is the extreme rate 
Nintendo Switch reshell kit that's going to be available online on Amazon.com. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys at home can check it out. Actually, really a fun modification. I feel very accomplished doing this, and I, of course, I know now I can definitely tell the difference between my Nintendo Switch and my son's Nintendo Switch. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'm Ben the Curious Consumer. I really hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the content as well. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that little bell notifier down below. It notifies you guys every single time I make a new video. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at B curious. As always, stay curious and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.